Get your action figures at Big Bad Toy Store at the link in the description. Dragon Ball Horror Kaiju and more. Steven's Toy Reviews. Hey there, collectors. It's going to be Steven here, and welcome to the first of two reviews for Super 7's Toho Ultimates Wave 3. Today, we're going to be taking a look at their Ultimates Destroya, and this is going to be a fan favorite kaiju of the Heisei era, because this is going to be the movie where Godzilla dies, and he's going to be passing along the title to Godzilla Jr., his son, and then, as we know, in the Rewa era, we do have the short films where so far he's taken on Gigan and Megalon and who knows what's going to happen for Godzilla Day in 2024. At least that seems to be the fan theory but nevertheless we do have Destroya here and this is going to be the wave where Super 7 is really going to have to challenge the customer to really win back the dollar that they need to spend. Is Destroya going to win the title of the biggest and most awesome kaiju so they can say to the customer, hey look, we're listening and we want to bring you on back into the fold so we can have you on our side and actually bring you good kaiju action figures? Or is this going to be more of the same and it's only going to appease those who are already on board? Let's take a look to see whether or not it's going to be worth adding into your collection. Destroya is a little bit stylized. He looks just a bit slimmer in some areas, but that is definitely going to add a little bit of charm to the figure and that is going to help with articulation. But do not be fooled by this. Destroya's sculpted details are really, really nice, and with those adjusted proportions, Everything sort of falls in place rather nicely, and yes, it is going to be modified from the source material, but it doesn't really look bad. So even though it isn't one-to-one, -one, for the design that Super 7 did go with, it all sort of works, and it all falls into place, and I do hope that makes sense. I will say, from the paint masters that were on display, everything kind of looked a bit weird and very pastelish, but when it comes to the actual final production piece... And maybe what was seen uh, elsewhere, Destroya does look really good. And I will say uh, kudos to Super 7 for actually keeping things a bit consistent when they said that this is going to be the production piece when they had stuff on display. What I will say, one of the big drawbacks, though, will definitely be the teeth. They did work to sort of get things individually painted on the mouth, but nevertheless, unfortunately, in some areas, we do have uh, some big sloppies there. The horn, however, looks really, really nice, and there is a nice gradient of yellow to orange, and then there is a little black piece of a ring or, or something at the base. I don't know what's going on there in particular, but nevertheless, it is going to be there. We do have the actual tusks of Destroya, which... Um, those are pretty cool because it does remind me of sort of like ivory bone coloration, which is rather solid. I'll go back to the SH Monster Arts really quick because the original release there, they did red eyes, but here they did yellow. So that's rather nice. The horns on the back of Destroya's head for all of the alternate heads, they do look rather solid. Not a whole lot of dry brushing or wash to be found, but it is good. Overall, if you are taking a look at Destroya here, there is going to be a mix and match of a very dark maroon color, so everything does blend in rather well. Shading is top-notch here, especially on the chest that uh, did look rather um, off on the original Paintmaster prototypes that the community did happen to see. If you were worried about how the figure would turn out based on the initial offerings that were shown to help get orders made, don't worry, the figure does look a bit better. Though I will say it is a bit justified if you do feel that the figure doesn't quite meet your expectations based on the little bit of stylized liberty that Super 7 took. However, I will say I do think that for the final product, it does look good, all things considered. Boil some water. Seriously, you're going to want to boil some water for this big lug because... Uh, it, even with what comes detached in the box, you may have some joints which are really, really stuck. And sharp. Ow. 
All right, let's go ahead and talk. I'll, I'll tell you about what's stuck and what's not for mine and some other folks in a little bit. So first and foremost, let's just go from the top and the bottom. We'll talk about the wings. Uh, they plug in on pegs, so they do swivel around. So that's really cool. And then they do have hinges where they plug in. So you can move them down. Oh, you see it's a little tough. And then swivel. So that's really cool. So depending on how you move the shoulders, you can actually get Destroya's wings um, kind of, sort of, not really folded. Ooh. Yeah. 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 That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty neato. Yeah, you'd like to see that. Here's Destroya's alternate head speaking out. It's a very, very awkward tilt for the camera right now, but nevertheless. Um, we do have Destroya's smaller wings, so the hind wings, which are going to be on the same sort of joint. So it's very, very similar. Nigh the same. There you go. Now those hinges where they plug into the actual shoulder sculpt, they uh, do not have swivels at the base. So it is what it is there. All right, so for the head, uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're actually going to pop it off so you can see what's going on. So we do have a barbell style ball joint here. So a ball joint in the neck and then a ball joint where the head plugs in. The actual neck does seem to move a little bit as you can kind of see here, but I don't know if that's just because um, it's a swivel or if that's an actual ball joint. It's kind of stuck, and like I said, uh, get some boiling water. Um, it, it doesn't really want to move too much for me, but I mean, yeah, it is what it is. The ball joint will do the majority of the work. So let's go ahead and get the head popped back on, and be careful. Be very, very careful. If this does not work for you, I am not a trained professional. Ugh. Woo, there we go. Um, use heat. Heat, 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 heat. All right, so for the ball joint, we can actually get Destroya to look up about that far and angle look down about that far. Of course, tilt left and right. The crest is going to block some of the articulation, but that's not really a fault of any engineering. That's just how it goes. The shoulders. So Destroya is a little slim compared to the actual suit, but this does help the articulation the way that Super 7 engineered Destroya. So we do have hinges, so this way we can, oh yeah, we'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk about looseness and tightness. We do have hinges, so this way we can raise and lower Destroya's arms. So in terms of T-posing, that is going to be about um, how high Destroya can raise the arms, but then we do have swivels, so this way we can spin uh, destroy his arms around like this. Keep in mind stuff colliding in with the body so this way you don't cause any damage, which is fine. Here's from behind. So Destroyer can raise his arms just like that. Cool. For the arms, I'm going to show you this arm since uh, this hinge, that's right, there is a hinge, is a bit more free than the other one. And then that has a swivel, so bicep swivel. Cool. And then that whoop, plugs in on a hinge. So technically a double hinge arm, elbow, if you will, in a way. <laughs> and then that has a swivel where it plugs into the forearm. And then we have the wrists, which have a swivel and a hinge. So there you go. Destroya will come with an alternate set of hands, which the hinge is the same motion. For the waist, because the ab crunch would be towards this thing, which opens up in a deleted scene, if you didn't know that. We do have a ball joint, and that is a fairly decent, uh, fairly decent range of motion, wouldn't you say? But it can't really do too much, except for, you know, little micro adjustments, I would say, except for Destroya can really spin, and that is pretty nice. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so for the hips, they are loose. Actually, all of the leg joints are loose. Destroya can kick out about that far forward and about that far back just by using the swivels where they plug in. And then when it comes to the hinge to kick out to the side because of the sculpt for the pelvis, that is about as best as I can do for both. We do have thigh swivels 
So this way we can spin the thighs around like so. We do have hinge knees, which a little bit of movement along with a swivel there. Move that back into place. Mop. Then for the ankles, we do have swivels to spin around and ankle rocker movement. For the tail, uh, it is separate in the box and this section does plug in on a ball joint. And then we do have pretty much ball joint movement all the way up to the tip. And it is pretty solid in terms of movement, I would say. It does seem to be a bit pre-angled, if you will, to be off to the side. At least it seems to be that way. But it's still pretty nice. Like it is better movement uh, compared to all of the Godzillas so far, I think so. So you'll love to see it. And then also just to be clear, there is this gap back here, but that does help for the ball joint and movement. Okay, so articulation I think is pretty solid indeed for Destroya. I think he, he moves relatively well. It's not too bad, but like I said, looseness and tightness for Destroya. So you did see the wing kind of flop around a bit. Um, yeah, that is, that is gonna be a bit of a disappointment here. So for Destroya, when we do open it up out of the box, the plastic is super duper firm and hard, particularly for the tail. There are a lot of folks who had issues with that, and I did too as well. There was no way that I would be able to get lucky like I did with all of my Godzillas, and I was able to pop the tail right in, no issues, and close the gap. I tried heat, I tried hot water, like heat from a blow dryer, nothing, nada, zilch. I had to go to the boiling water and it worked, thankfully. When it came to the wings as well, those didn't really wanna pop on, they didn't wanna budge, and then when I heated them up just a little bit here, the actual joints were all stuck. So once again, not enough heat from the standard methods, I had to go the extreme route and hit them with the boiling water. And again, when it came to the elbow joints um, up here, Boiling water had to do that. Once I was able to pop out and swap the heads, I was again needing to use boiling hot water. But once I did that, swapping the head parts off, super duper easy. Once I did pop the wings in though, they did become just a little bit loose. Um, this one, not so much, not so much there but this one is real easy to spin alongside this one. You can tell that they're a little bit floppy if I push the joints there. For the legs, um, the knee joint is okay over here. It's kind of firm over here. And it's not like if I pick him up and I like shake him, the legs are gonna flop around, but they are definitely loose. You can definitely see that. So it is a bit disappointing that there is the inconsistent quality control when it comes to the joint, I guess you might say integrity, but when it comes to the dangerous, hard plastic because there are some who literally paid a blood tax as it's being affectionately called uh yeah that does present a safety concern so just keep that in mind if you ever are not feeling comfortable with making sure that you can pop stuff on or off then use heat always I needed to go boiling water. I know exactly what to do when it comes to heat. And this is the fourth time ever in my history of collecting that I needed to use boiling water. So just something to keep in mind. Now, with that being said, Destroya will come with some accessories. And what are those going to be? Well, first and foremost, keep in mind that the hinges for the hands, the wrists, they go um, out to the side like this. So the little claw goes up. So you can see there's a little bump that goes inwards. So with that being said, we do have alternate splayed out hands, just like this, okay? So with the bump being inwards, all you gotta do is pop them out. And then the joint here was super duper stuck. Again, no heat aside from boiling water would have helped. So all you gotta do is pop it on and there you go. Alternate destroyer head part or Destroya will be roaring. So let's go ahead and pop this head off. And Destroya will be roaring. Let's make sure it lines up. And again, make sure you are safe because if, 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 if your hand slips, there's lots of hard plastic here and you could cut yourself. Don't wanna do that. 
I will say that the paint application for this head is a little bit better than the default one for the teeth specifically, but nevertheless, it does need to be cleaned up a little bit. Then for the last accessory that we're going to get, we do actually get three little aggregate forms or little crabbies and uh, you know, they're fine. Nothing really to write home about. I think that considering the size, the paint application is rather spot on, particularly for the eyes and the crest on the chest. But when we you know, consider that these are going to be going on your burning Godzilla or they're going to be terrorizing a city. I think they work very well and they will add to my army. I think I've got like 25 aggregates, including these. So I am happy. Um, overall, I am disappointed with the accessories. I believe it was the New York Comic Con after Wave 3 was revealed. Destroya was actually shown with uh, his beam effect like an oxygen destroyer beam, particularly uh, most famous from Destroy All Monsters Melee, and it was not included. And then Wave 4, which uh, was up for pre-order over the summer, when Super 7 started to do the pre-order bonus pack by ordering from them directly, they included the beam for Space Godzilla and Mogera as well. So where did Destroy Us beam go? We don't know. No, and chances are it may never see the light of day. So that is rather disappointing because who knows what's going to happen. Uh, Super 7 hasn't talked about any accessory sets or the like. And c'est la vie. We also don't have a horn katana option, which I think would be pretty cool. But nevertheless, this is a very thick, chunky boy. And I think, you know, it's pretty neat with what we got. So... Um, if you need accessories like buildings or other effect parts, you know I've got videos to help you out. And here's a size comparison for Wave 3 alongside some other figures you just might have. Of course, we're going to put Wave 3 together just so this way, if you're going to get them, you have an idea of how they're going to be together. So buy now, skip, or wait for a deal, I will say that Destroya is probably one of the better figures that Super 7 has to offer, especially when it comes to a villain for Godzilla to tango with. Uh, you know, we don't have Space Godzilla yet, which is going to be one of my favorite kaiju of all time, and we don't have Mogera either, so we're going to wait for the official confirmation, but this one is going to be hard to top. There are some quality control things that do need to be tightened up, particularly when it comes to collector safety, but when we take that out of the equation, I do like Destroya here. I will say this is a fantastic course correction when it comes to Wave 1 especially, and Wave 2. If this is going to be something that you are interested in and you were turned off by the first two waves, I will say that this is a great starting point for Super 7's Toho Ultimates. If you've been hesitant to pull the trigger, this is going to be a great one to at least start with to see what Super 7 has to offer. Now, is this going to be contender for figure of the year? No, but this is a great starting point. There is some room for improvement here or there, but nevertheless, Super 7 did do a solid job with this release. Two claps. Two claps.